This old lady had nothing to do with the 911 call. It has no to do idea. with hotel she reception. Does the goddamn old lady. Sir, you just come to me with... I come in there. So why do I see a picture of of that of that lady that we just saw? Yeah, it's called stalking, right? Stop reaching, you're gonna be tased. You fucking bitch. <laughs>Yo, what is up everybody? My name is AJ and welcome back to another episode of GTA 5 5M with Major League Roleplay. And guys, you are in for quite the episode. I wanted to give you a little bit of backdrop as to what's about to happen when we get en route to an Ava 1 call. And the call that we're about to be en route to is a domestic disturbance at the Pink Cage Motel. And it actually relates to another call that we had earlier today about a male who stopped in front of a lady at a gas station and was reported to be waving a gun. But it turns out that he wasn't waving a gun, he was actually getting very angry at the woman and was making gestures that looked very offensive and then left. So there's actually a bit of correlation between that call that we had and the call we're about to go to. And I figured I'd give you a little bit of backdrop before we get there so you understand what's happening. With that being said, enjoy the episode and let's get into it. Just want to drive it there or you want to leave it outside here? Yeah, I'll just park outside. Very good. Let's go in. Looking fresh with the blue polo, sir. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. All right. I think they're probably going to be up here somewhere. Yep, there they are. Second level. After you, sir. Go ahead. It's actually cool to see people using this interior. It's actually nice. I mean, a couple of people do, but you know, this is cool seeing it more frequently. This old lady had nothing to do with the 911 call. It has no to do with hotel she reception. Does the old lady. It is not, sir. Open the you just come to door me with... before I come in there. Sir, let's go talk to reception and they'll help us sort it out. This has nothing uh, to do with this lady this in here. This old lady getting it this time. Open the goddamn door. That's it. I'm kicking this fucking door. In. Sir, if you kick down that door, you will go in cuffs. Nah, this old lady needs a goddamn talking to. You do not need to talk to this lady. Let's go go down to the hotel lobby and let's go talk to reception. Nah, How's that this sound? Goddamn old ass lady has to cuff up and keep her mouth shut before something happens. You guys want to go stay with them? I'm gonna go talk to the reception what they you know want to what? do. With them. Okay. Goddamn old lady, right. I'm gonna go Sounds dig good. up the goddamn old ass grandma in the grave tonight. Hey, yo, 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 yo! Listen, man, what's going on? Why are you being like this right now? You got a goddamn old ass lady keeps on telling me to turn down my music. I can't and she's the one that why I'm getting kicked out. Okay, slow down, man, because I can't even understand what you're saying. So let, why don't we do this, man? Why don't we have a talk downstairs? Okay, you're not being arrested. You're not being detained. Nothing like that. Or, well, you are being detained, but you're not being arrested right now. Why don't we go down to the parking lot right there and let's have a chit chat there, so so you know at least nothing gets nothing gets um uh, escalated than what it needs to be, okay? Okay. And we can talk things out from there. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you, old lady. I'm gonna dig up your old grandma tonight and beat the shit out of her. Oh, hey man. I know where I know all right, all right. It, and, enough, that's man. That's all right. It's all right. Let's go. We can talk about everything down there. We can try to get this issue sorted out, man. All right, man. First of all, let me start with a little bit of an introduction. My name is Sheriff Patel, the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Over there is Captain Melotrick with the Los Angeles Police Department. So the reason we're out here is because we got a we got a noise complaint. All right, between you and that and that um, that old lady it was actually called in by by, by an uh, anonymous caller here. Okay, and um, right now as it stands, it seems like you know when when we arrived, or at least when I arrived, it looked like there was a little bit of turmoil happening over up there where you're trying to knock on the on the on the lady's door. Now I'm not sure what's what's exactly happening between you both. It seems like to me you're saying you're saying that she's making a complaint about you um, having loud music, right? Is that do I have do I have that down right? Yeah, that, that old lady keeps on knocking at my door at like at like uh, twelve o'clock. Okay, well right now as it stands, man, I realize that maybe she's making a complaint about your music, um, maybe being loud, and maybe you might think it's not being loud. But, um, you know, as far as everything goes, um, we can try to get this issue resolved. It seems like a civil matter. Uh, we have to talk to the receptionist, see what they want to do, okay, because they are the management of the hotel. Um, how long have you been living here for? Or how long have you been residing at this hotel for? 
I've been here for about, uh, maybe about, like, uh, about a week now. I'm looking for a permanent place to stay. Okay, would, would I be able to get your first and last name, sir? Or do you have any kind of ID that you can show me? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay. No, sir. Not going to jail or nothing, right? Well, as it seems right now, sir, it just seems like a noise complaint problem. I think uh, if everything goes well, everything will roll smoothly. As long as you stay cooperative, I think we should be good, sir. Hey, uh, okay. Captain, do you want to run this uh, ID for me, sir, over in the system at my car? Oh, uh, yeah, we'll do. All you got to do is uh, flex your inventory muscle. Just hover over it, and I'll tell you what the name is. It's going to be Mr. Jackson Smith. Okay. I appreciate that, sir. All right, sir. So, um... I gotta ask you, uh, Mr. Smith, I, I'm aware about uh, something that happened earlier between you and an, an old lady today. Is that the same old lady that we're talking about here, or is this a different old lady? We got an old lady at the gas station? Yeah. Yeah, that's the same bitch. Okay. Have you have you two been having turmoil because of the noise complaint problem, or what's been happening? Because it seems to me that you guys meet at, the, at a really random location like the gas station, and... All of a sudden, she has a threat coming to her. I mean, I did no, see you see, raise your fist. See, but... you know, so, ba so basically, this is what happened. I've been drinking on here for about a week now. Ever since here, she's been getting me uh, pro problems. So, you know, I go up there, you know, tell her to shut her mouth, but she won't. So, you know, I almost hit her a couple times. But, uh, you know, but the, what's it called? The, um, the hotel manager stopped me from hitting her because I was so mad. I went to go uh, fill up my uh, gas tank, and I see, and I see the old bitch. Uh, down at the gas station, for, and you know she just keeps complaining about the the loud music and everything. And you know I tell her that if she don't like the that if she don't like my music because I'm not I don't really put it up that I don't really put it up that loud. It's just that she has a limited hearing or some shit. Okay, now I gotta ask you, man, and I'm not I'm not trying to. Adam, uh, one direct, oh. uh, Jackson Smith, uh, no prior no arrest, uh, clean record. Receive copy that. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, as it stands right now, man, because, you know, if, if this is the same lady that you saw at the gas station over on Clinton Avenue, and this is the same lady we're talking about upstairs right now over on the second floor, um, what, what, is, what is she doing for you to act aggressively physically towards her? What, what's that all about? She's getting up into my business. Is she, ca is, is she being physically aggressive to you, or is she making threats to you in any kind of way? No, see, she, she, you know, uh, I used to, have, I had a great grandpappy, and her old grand, and her, her old grandma, my old grandpa, got, got into it a little bit with her, you know, my grand, my grandpappy wasn't a, that, you know, didn't have a good reputation, and that, uh, grand, and her uh, great grand, uh, what was that, grandma, the dead grandma that's, uh, in the grave that I was trying uh, to beat up, uh, you know, uh, you know, um, she, you know, she got in, great grand, grandpappy, and, you know, they uh, sort of, you know, through through this, and that she ended up uh, stabbing my old grandpappy. So, and then next thing, you, next thing you know, that uh, uh her uh, uh, grandma, whatever she she is, um, dies of a heart attack. That's why I have a problem with her. I have a whole problem with her and her goddamn family. She's lucky me that she's not twelve feet under right now. Okay, well, if you guys got problems, then then I I have a few things to say to you, man, because. I realize maybe that there's a bit of a family, uh, bad blood, maybe family relations in the past, but um, that doesn't necessarily give you the right to be physically aggressive towards her. I realize she's making noise complaints, man, and I realize that you're just trying to enjoy yourself, I get it, but I got three things to tell you that maybe there's ways to avoid that. Maybe one way is leave this uh, hotel and go find another one. I mean, there's a plenty of hotels around the city. This is an urbanized place. It's not Sandy Shores or nothing. Um, there's plenty of other places around Los Santos, I'm sure you can reside at and hang your hat, but uh, definitely not coming here to this hotel and, you know, first of all, management's a little bit scared about you. Um, secondly, this old lady, I mean, she seems innocent and harmless. Um, hey, how did that old lady just say? God damn it. Just let, hey, let hey, it hey, whoa, 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 let it, let it, let it. Bitch, you wanna let it. Talk missing the stairs, what a, f what a fucking noob I am. Hey man, relax, relax, relax. This is this is not this is really you're gonna get yourself in a lot of trouble, man. You don't wanna take it a step further than what you're doing right now. You might as well just let it go and move away, man. Listen, man, I was just about to hey listen. No, we, we, we don't we don't wanna do that. 
can't be it's talking just... about my great-grandpa be like that. I realize that, man, and that's what I'm about to tell you. Maybe you just need to move out. Because this is not going to work for you, man. Whoa, 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 why are you holding my arm? Because I don't want you opening her door, and I don't want you to get into an attack with her. I want you to leave her alone, as she should leave you alone, too. But she resides here, so do you, but maybe my best suggestion is to avoid the turmoil. Maybe to avoid you from getting physically aggressive. And maybe one of you two get hurt. Maybe it'd be best for you guys to just split up and you move out. This won't work like this, man. I think you know that. You know what I mean? I guess, but like, she like, just needs to keep her mouth shut. Like, like I told you, man, there are, there are plenty of places around Los Santos. There's no reason to live here if you have turmoil that relates years back, you know? There's no need for that, okay? So I think, let's let's head on downstairs, man. You gotta ignore what she's gotta say. By the very end of this, I'm sure we can just try to get you up on out of here, and maybe best thing you just move out, alright? Because this won't be good if you continue like this. Okay? Uh, I guess. But that old lady needed to just turn her mouth. Okay, well... Oh! God, well, hey, hey, lady. listen, listen. Just let's let's go downstairs, man, because what you need to do is you need to filter filter out that out your mind. Yeah, I need to just get away before I do something that I'm going to Yeah, regret. I, I agree, man. Why don't you walk... We'll come after you. Just walk downstairs, all right? You heard back from the management yet? The yeah, they want him. Yeah, they want him gone. Or okay. Trespassed. Okay. What the hell they want me? What? No, we'll 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 talk. We'll explain it down down there. Okay, right, sir, so you want to step to my vehicle? So, like I said, man, just one last thing before Deputy James speaks to you. So, you know, any any time you meet this lady, man, you just gotta learn to start avoiding avoiding her. Okay, it seems like there's a lot of bad turmoil, but you know, more importantly, man, I think all three of us can speak on each other for this. We don't want you getting into trouble, man. You sound, you sound like a nice guy. I think your, your record sounds pretty uh, pretty good. Um, you sound clean. You got no warrants. You got a good driver's license. You got a good got a good way maybe to get your way segue into the city. I'll let Deputy James now speak to you about the issue that's going on with this call now. All right, sir. So I had to kind of give him a rundown about the whole old lady situation because he met this old lady on the uh, at the gas station. Still have his license. Okay, but hold on. They, it's nothing serious, right? Trespass is not the end of the world. You're not going to jail or anything like that. Basically, I'm going to serve you these papers. Basically, it tells you that you're not allowed back here, right? If you come oh. back here, you're going to be you're going to be arrested. What you're about that arrested. old? What about that old bitch? That that you can just leave her. She she won't ever bother you again. You can go in your car and take off. But first, I need you to sign these papers. These papers basically state you're not welcome back here. This hotel reception does not want you back here at any circumstance, unless they tell us that they want this order removed. You're gonna have to. You're you're not welcome here until, unless they say otherwise. Okay. I'm not welcome here anymore. Uh, pretty much. They don't. They don't. They don't want you here. But it's okay, cause you know there's other nicer motels out there. Probably five star. This this hotel, you know, it's not this motel is not really the greatest, but um, there's there's other ones that you can go to. Okay. So if you're just gonna sign these trespass pa trespass papers for me. Now, can I sign them over there by my vehicle? Yeah. I just need to go get my pen. Okay. Uh, you didn't have a pen for him to use? Oh, what was that, sir? I, I had one right here. I could have just, sorry, I could have let you borrow it. Hey, hey. Whoa, 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 what do you what do you want here, man? Do you want to go to jail because of something stupid? You got you got to be completely honest with me. We can't go like this, man. Hey, put it down. Just put it down, man. You gotta man, put. You that gotta old put lady it... can't be talking like my family like that. Well, listen. That's why you're gonna get out of here, and you're not gonna see her again. Right? Do you, do you want to go to jail over something this stupid? You gotta ask yourself that question, man. It's really not worth it, is it? Do you uh, think this is worth it for you? What happens if you go in there and you light her place on fire and she dies? Then you go to jail for possibly murder that you could be facing up to life. And you won't be able to see the day of light again. You don't want that. You want to live a life, man. You're, you're, you're trying to find a job. You're trying to find yourself a home. 
You go get yourself a nice wife, a nice pet. Alright, maybe get some kids. If you go to jail, man, this can't happen. Man. Oh, there you go. Thanks, man. Can I get the matches too, please? There you go. Thanks, man. That that's the right thing to do. Now, follow Deputy James. Okay, and we can we can sort all this out. I got a pen. I got a pen for you if you want it here. Yeah. You can take my pen, sir, and you can go ahead and and, and talk with Deputy James, sir. Okay. Thank you for the pen. Yes, sir. Okay. So, like I said, these papers. Good call. You're not going to jail at all today. You're just gonna have to sign these papers, basically stating you're not welcome back here. If you come back here, you're gonna go straight to jail for trespassing. I'm not trying to take this guy to jail. I get, I get the trauma, the PTSD, but he's got to relax. Pretty much the exact information I just told you. On here, you have my badge number, Deputy James Delta 82, which is my badge number, and I just need your signature right here. Only thing I'm scared of is he tried doing this earlier at a gas station, so I'm worried he might follow this lady. But. You know, I don't want to make things angered more than what it needs to be. I'm trying to de-escalate right, everything entirely. Mr. Smith, so at this time, you are free to go. You can head head into your vehicle and get get on out of here. Like I said, we highly recommend you don't come back here. If you do, you're going to be charged with trespassing and you're going to jail. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, and Mr. And and future. and sir, I want to let you know. Just avoid this lady at all costs, man. Like I say, you don't want to get jailed. Okay. That's all. You you do not want that. Okay. Yeah, is there your any your license back, uh, Mr. Smith, oh, yeah. real quick. Here's your license. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. You guys have a wonderful day. You too. You too, man. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah, you know, I, I'm a little worried about him because he saw her earlier at the gas station, too. So I'm worried if he was about to... I mean, he wasn't... He didn't have a gun in the footages. But if he, uh... If he's known to be finding her at various locations and getting aggressive like that, even as random as a gas station, I'm kind of worried what he might do next, you know? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably stay around here for a little bit. Uh, just watch the motel and make, if he, make sure he doesn't come back. Because we okay. know this is where she stays yeah. in right now. Can I put this in your trunk? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, actually, my trunk is kind of full with... Uh, actually, yeah, I think it fit. Okay. Hey, FYI, guys. Uh, he just went across the street and parked over there. So, you know. Okay. I'll probably stay in the parking lot while I get this uh, report and he's, uh, he's watching. He's watching over here as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll probably stay in the area. Maybe a block down or so. Okay. And he's, he's parked uh, the opposite way he's now. He's technically, yeah, he's technically parked the opposite way in a no parking zone too. He is. Delta 82 from Adam 1. He's parked the opposite way in a, in a no parking zone actually. Two, two violations in one go. Right across the street. No, we'll, we'll, we'll interact with them. We're just right across the street from them. We'll be out. Let them know we're going to be on a 10-11 with that vehicle. Yeah. And um, you can tell Delta 82, yes. Delta 82, yeah, go ahead and attach. Uh, I don't want I'm going to be on a 10-11 with the vehicle that a uh, Jackson Smith identified. It's going to be a burger in Poway here on Howick uh, Avenue. Well, let's see what's up. Hey. Smith, how you doing, man? Uh, what, what, are you, what do you need? What's going on, bud? You realize you parked uh, opposite way of traffic, and not only that, you are parked in the wrong direction. You, you realize that, correct? Oh, I didn't realize that. You want to tell me what's going on, man? You all right? What's going on? Uh, nothing. Is there a reason why you parked over here? Uh, what's the deal? Uh, Mr. Jackson? Uh, for a reason. For a reason. So you just sitting here? Yeah, you know, I, I, I had to, um... 
you know, and put my uh, uh, wallet in my pocket, you know, I don't know I'm driving. Right. Mr. Smith, I'm not even going to lie to you. It, it's a little suspicious, all right? You are over here parked opposite way of traffic and on a parking zone, and you're acting kind of kind of sketchy, if you know what I mean. Want to tell me what's going on or not? I have been very patient with you up until now, Mr. Smith. You could have been in jail already. Uh, I'm not doing nothing. I just had to put my wallet in my pocket. You got a camera in the seat, man. What's that all about? Uh, nothing. You know, I, I like to, uh, I like to, uh, take pictures slash report stuff. What are you taking pictures of? Uh, you know, um, bell rings, got uh, cars, you know. Hmm. What if I... I see. Well, I guess, what, what, what are, why are you parked here like this, though, is what, is what the captain is asking you. You haven't quite identified why you're just sitting here parked like this. You're making two violations. You're parked in the opposite lane, like he told you, and you're also parked on a red fire lane, or like a fire, uh, fire, um, uh, curb. You know, it's marked on uh, red painting. I'm, I'm so sorry, I didn't realize. So why do I see a picture of, of that, of that lady? that we just saw oh um no no reason no reason no reason yeah it's called stalking right stalking no uh i was in a public place when i was taking the pictures man okay so there's two things because right now as it seems to me which i i'm not sure if i'm regretting my decision on not charging with criminal criminal threats um, because what could have happened is over at the gas station when i saw on cctv and you made the threats towards her i could have charged with criminal threats there I could have also charged you with criminal threats at the motel because all she's doing is just telling you you had a noise complaint and you're taking physical actions. At this point, things are not looking too hot for you, man. Because what you're doing is you're making threats and now you're stalking her. That makes things look a lot bad for you. I want you to understand that. I'm not trying to take you to jail, man, but it seems like to me that you're just trying to put yourself there. Hey, I just had, I forgot to throw away that picture, man. I'm not stalking nobody. All right, man. Why don't you just do me a solid, man? Can you step out for me real quick? Did you step out? Adam, he's he's taking off. Uh, we got one taking off on us right now. It's gonna be a um a dark and colored graphite uh Impala. Go ahead and call it a Thruster 18. Yeah, we're going to be going uh, Equi Highland U-7282, turning on the highway right now. We're going to be on the Southern Freeway, going north, 7282, 7296. He's making a U-turn going south on uh, Los Santos Freeway, up to see lane of traffic. He's going to be on the north side, going south. Shit. I lost ice. Don't have ice. Uh, if there's a unit that can head on to, uh, stand by. Might be closer to Mirror Park, actually. Uh, might be able to intercept him there, north of Mission Row. Might be able to intercept him over at this at this location right here. Adam on Lost Eyes. Um, stand by for a license plate. Can you yeah, look up? Um, can you look up Jackson yeah, Smith? Yeah, and, look it up. Yep, it's the same license plate. I couldn't lock it because it wasn't on the front. If I'm if I'm right, he should be somewhere here. Because this is where this highway leads to. Go ahead, sir. One can't be advised. Uh, it's going to be a Chevy, 1996 Chevy Impala. The plates are going to be November Bravo Kilo 706. Again, the plates are going to be November Bravo Kilo, uh, Kilo 706. It's going to be a burgundy color. 1996 Chevy Impala. Break, break, break. I have that vehicle. It's gonna be at Mirror Park, Postal 7332. It's gonna be taking a left. I don't know you'd go to Mirror Park. That's where this highway leads to. Disregards me to go continuing straight. It's gonna be at West Mirror Drive, Postal 7325, headed westbound. Gonna be traveling speed about 80 in the residential area, Postal 7312, speed about 50. I see them up there. Gonna be passing the 24-7 in Mirror Park. Disregards, taking a left, left. Seven three, seven three zero three. Taking another left. 
Heading towards Elgin. Might as well just head this way. Stopped right here. Seven two nine seven Glory West. You're gonna be on the uh, berm. Set ten seventy. Hitting officers. You say shots fired? Is that what he said? Hitting officers. I think probably physical. Got one taser at the time. Just got the gun. Hopefully, he doesn't have a gun. Out of one, you can shot point three. My bad, gents. Right. I didn't realize he was there. Yeah, he's right there. Stop moving or you'll be tased. Stop putting your hands in your shirt. Put them up. Kill me. Kill me. Put them up. Put your hands up and face away, my man. Get your hands out them pockets. Stop Stop reaching. Watch crossfire. Watch crossfire. Stop reaching. You're going to be tased. You need to cross the street. You're in crossfire. Stop moving. Stop moving. Damn it. You fucking bitch. Really? Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Out of one times, one ten fifteen. We're gonna want in custody. You can clear the air. Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, very terrible, God very terrible. Damn it, you made man. you made a really bad decision today. I want you to understand that. All right, Deputy James, just read him his rights and then have him have him have a seat and search him and whatnot. I don't know if he had a gun on him or not. You want me to? You want me to take him into the, uh, 1015, or you? You want to do it? Uh, go ahead and take him. Go ahead and take him 1015 and send him over to the station. We'll uh, we'll get. Actually, you know what? Just uh, put him in my car. My car is just up the hill. We'll, okay. We'll take him okay. to jail. Yes, sir. Uh, can you go ahead and turn off my sirens, please? Uh, your sirens are off for me, but uh, I guess he's oh. he's gonna do that. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna All right, Mr. Smith. Box real quick. Okay, I got the trunk. All right, Mr. Smith. Um, Adam one has he been advised of his Miranda rights? Ten four, did he refuse to talk to me at first? Received. All right, Mr. Smith, you've been read your Miranda rights, man. Just a few things. Medic is gonna come and check you out for the taser prongs. Okay, but um, I do want to let you know, man. The the charges you're gonna be getting is uh definitely criminal threats. That's one of them. Secondly, I want to let you know that uh, the second charge you're gonna be getting is for assault on an officer. You hit that you hit that officer in the face. That was definitely not needed. Okay. Now, why did you put your hands in the back of your pocket when you had no gun on you? You should have just killed me. I should have just killed you? Yep, you should have just shot me. Why would I want to do that, man? What's been going on? Because this is not normal, man. This is not normal human behavior. You should have just killed me. Hey man, I don't want you saying things like that. If you need help, man, we can get you help. Shut up, you Trevor. Let's down off the of blurry way. Seven two nine eight. Are you do you are you do you take any kind of medication, man? Any any like do you take any prescription medication that you're given by a doctor? No. No. Okay. All right. Well, uh, a medic is here. They're gonna get these prongs off of you and clean you up a little bit. Okay. This way, uh, you're all set to go. But like I said, man, you are going to be under arrest, okay? I don't want you to think about, uh, I don't want you to think about self-inflicted harm. It's not, it's not something you should think about. I gotta ask you, man, is, is part of the reason you're saying this is because of the old lady? Did you want to exact, uh, I'm, I'm not trying to get to this stage, but are you trying to exact some kind of revenge on her? Has she done something? I mean, I know you said she's, 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 she's had a bad blood with your family past, but, um, or your family's past history. But is she the reason you're you're going after her and are you trying to are you trying to accomplish something by doing it? I mean, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but like are you are you trying to accomplish something by by trying to hurt her? Oh, when I get out, she's dead. I don't want you saying things like that, man.
You diagnosed with depression, sir? You didn't talk to me. I don't know what we're talking about. Okay. Alright, man. Well, I want you just to have a seat. Just watch your head, watch your feet. I'm gonna close the door, alright, man? We'll be on our way. Did you, see the, did you see what the medics said about uh, Mrs. Smith? Yeah, I did. Yeah. My cheek's numb. I'm sorry, <laughs> man. It's okay. Wishing you well, sir. Alright, very good. Captain, we can be on our way over to uh, Davis. Okay.